Jackson and JP, thanks for coming out on this Saturday with my assistant coach Dylan. He'll be helping us this season. We're just gonna run a couple of drills today. Uh, all I ask is do not get hurt, JP, because you're our best player, and just don't get hurt, please. Okay. Are you okay? Uh, I think I broke my ankle. Oh, Dylan, call 911. <sighs> Thanks for getting those records. Sure. I'm Dr. Harris and welcome to the Orthopedic Center. We just received your x-rays. You have a grade 1 ankle sprain, which means you'll experience more stiffness and swelling, but your foot is still stable to walk on. Well, can I play my championship game in five weeks? Unfortunately, no. It takes at least six weeks to heal. My team needs me. Is there any way I can get better? I will refer you to a physical therapist, but for right now, I want you to walk at least 10,000 steps every single day. Great job. Are you feeling any pain? Just a little. It's feeling better though. Well, how many steps have you been taking per day? About 10,000. That's how many my doctor told me to take. Hmm. Well, I think if you walked five miles per day, you would recover much more quickly. What's up, JP? Hey, Coach C. What's up? My star player ready for our big game? Christina was just saying that if I walked five miles per day instead of 10,000 steps per day, I would recover much more quickly. Like quick enough to play in our championship game? I think so. It would cut off about two weeks worth of recovery time. That's enough for him to recover for our big game. But coach, how many more steps do I need to take today to get to five miles? Well, how many steps have you taken today? 10,002. And how many miles is that? 4.11. Well, don't look at me. I haven't seen a math problem since the eighth grade. I think I know how to do it. Take five times the total steps divided by the total miles and subtract the total steps. I think it's 2,166 steps. I still don't get it. Can someone explain? We're going to set up something called a proportion. It says that the total number of steps divided by the total miles it takes to walk that many steps is equal to another number of steps divided by the miles you need to walk to get that many steps. We set up the proportion. 10,002 steps over 4.11 miles equals x number of steps over 5 miles. The x is there because we don't know how many steps it takes to walk 5 miles yet. Then we can cross multiply, which is when you multiply the two diagonals in a proportion and they are equal. When we cross multiply, we get 4.11 times x equals 50,010. Then we can divide both sides by 4.11 to isolate the x on one side. So we get x equals 12,167.8. But since you can't take 0.8 of a step, we need to round up to 12,168. We need to take away 10,002 from 12,168 because JP has already walked 10,002 steps. So we do 12,168 minus 10,002. When we do this, you get 2,166. So, JP needs to walk 2,166 more steps today in order to reach his goal of 5 miles. Good girl, puppy. I just reached my goal of 12,168 steps in 5 miles. I think I'm going to be able to recover from my big game. Come on guys, we're down two with four seconds to go. Let's go!